Now you're not following God according to what you read. You're following God according to what the Catholic Church told your churches they could teach. By the fear of men. The Catholic Church is the mother of harlots. What, what does that mean? All the churches that came out of her is harlots. I don't care what you call her today. She's the mother. Alright? You stay in Isaiah where you are. And go up to the ninth verse. Verse 9. What's in this cup? Read. Stay yourselves and wonder. The Bible says, stay yourselves and wonder. What? Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They are drunken, but not with wine. So that lets you know it's not a physical wine that's in this cup. It's a spiritual wine to make the minds of the people drunk. Read. They stagger. But not with strong drinks. So the Lord is looking at us stagger from one church to the next. One belief to the next. Why? We're looking for him and can't find him. Because religion is in the way. The great whore is in the way. Read. Verse 10. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. So if you drink of this cup, you're blind. You are blind if you drink of this cup. The modern day Christianity is in this cup. All of it. Read. And have closed your eyes, the prophets and the rulers. So all the preachers that were set up under this guy, you know, the, the, the preachers that go to your theologian seminary colleges got their understanding from this guy, directly or indirectly. They got a little bit, they got a sip on off of that cup. Read. The seers have he covered, and the vision of all has become as to, unto you as the words of the book that is sealed. And that's why the majority of, uh, of Christians today don't even go into the Bible, because it's sealed. They claim to be Christians, but can't even read the book that their faith is founded on. Go back to Revelation 17. Read that. Revelation 17 and 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color. Go ahead. And decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand, full of abomination and filthiness of her fornications. Abomination and filthy. So you can't separate wickedness and, and, and dealing with Satan from religion. Because that's who Satan come through. He comes through religion. We showed you earlier that he would appear as an angel of light. Read. Verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. Why does it say mystery? It's a mystery because everyone thinks that she's righteous. Everyone thinks that the church that are te that's teaching today is from God. That's why it's called a mystery. And Christ says, listen, take heed that no man deceive you. Many shall come in my name, saying I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Satan will come using Christ's name. And that was brought over here in a, to America in 1492 with Christopher Columbus and his band of thieves. They set up the Queen of England. And the other Idumeans or Edomites set up shop here to destroy God's people. Warring against the sea when they war, warred against the North American Indians and the Baliqua Taino Indians and the Mexican Indians, which are all from the woman seed Israel. Yes. They brought that wine over to make the people drunk. Britain, mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. It says the mother of harlots because all the churches that came out of the Roman Catholic Church are harlots also. Read. An abomination of the earth. It's an abomination of the earth. So now she's going to spread this abomination all over the earth. And no one will question what comes from this whore. Why? They're blind. Read. Verse 6. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. And Hold up. What, did she, what was she drunken with? With the blood of the saints. The same empire that destroyed the saints of Christ are now claiming to be Christ. And they're still destroying the saints. By using Christ's name. Okay?
Fake is a lamb, but really it's a dragon. But fake is a dragon, it's a lamb. It appears to be nice, but Satan is in the midst. Read. And with the blood of the martyrs of Yeshida, and when I saw her, I wondered with great abomination, with great admiration. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? I will tell thee the mystery of the woman. Hear the mystery of the woman. And of the beast that carrieth her, which have the seven heads and the ten horns. And the beast that thou sawest was, and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, go ahead. and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. You're going to you're gonna find those that follow this religion, and follow these empires that it rules. It's not written in the book of life. Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Read. When they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. So why are they beholding this beast? And why is this beast is a mystery to the people? Because this beast or Satan appears as righteous. Read. Verse 9. And here is the mind which have wisdom. The seven heads and seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. The seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. Those seven mountains is Rome. Rome sits on seven mountains. Read. Verse 10. And there are seven kings. Five are fallen. And one is. And the other is not yet come. The other that, that didn't come yet was America at that time. Yeah. That's, why, that's why John says in Revelation that one is. What, what was the one, what, what was the empire ruling during John's time? Rome. It is, and one have not come. It was talking about the future of America. The future kingdom. Read. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. So America, compared to all the empires that preceded her, has the shortest rule. Read. Verse 11. And the beast that was, and is not. Even he that is the eighth, even he is the eighth. Go ahead. And is of the seven, and goeth into perdition. That's Satan. Read. And the ten horns, which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as, as yet. Those are the ten we said originally. They didn't receive no kingdom yet. Why? Because all the glory went to America. Rome had to separate itself from this side of the earth. So it used America as its whipping boy. Read. But receive power as kings, one hour with the beasts. So once America is totally annihilated, the Ten Horns going to finally get their glory for a short space. Read. These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Shall give their power and strength to who? Unto the beast. So these shall give their power and strength to the beast, to let you know that these get their power and strength from Satan. So when they set up churches in these governments and in these communities, they give their glory to Satan. Read. Verse 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is the Lord of lords, and King of kings, and they that are with him, called, and chosen, and faithful. And these same ten horns, these same nations who claim they're following Christ and Jesus, have put weapons out in space to fight against this, our Lord. They have put weapons in space waiting for the second coming to war against the Most High. To war against Christ in the battle of Armageddon. They're going to lose. And those that follow and help those empires to do these things will lose will lose. Now, how do they get you? They get you through belief, religion, government, and practices of tradition. So they deceive you through tradition. I have here all the Roman festivals from January to December.
Can't go through them all. I'll probably do this on a different video. But every holiday you have in America is related to a day in ancient Rome. And an idol or a demon is behind each day. So the days they give you, like Martin Luther King's Day, you think it's for Martin Luther King? No. They make sure they line it up with a, a day that they worship in ancient Rome and connect it with a demon that was worshipped in ancient Rome. Thanksgiving, Christmas, Fourth of July, Easter, all these different New Year's, Washington Day, uh, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Christopher Columbus Day, you name it. There's a date in Rome for each holiday. And it leads to a statue, an image, or an idol, and a demon in ancient Rome. You're going to find they made these communities to trap souls. America is Babylon the Great, the great whore that ought to be destroyed, contained in the Bible. There's a satanic connection between ancient Babylon, Rome, and America. Now, there's no way I can end this without showing you first who they're warring against. I showed you Esau. Here's Jacob. 